I made breakfast and didn't even eat it and just had a few bites and I'm back in bed. That's all the energy I had today. Uh, I, I took a shower too, so that was a lot. I'm tired of this. And this is, I've been tired of this for years. Um, really tired of how tired I get, how quickly my body just says, nope, we're done. Uh, I try every day to do, I have so much stuff I need to get done. I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to get, I have plans every day of stuff. I'm, you know, goals for the day. I, I want to do them. It's not motivational. Um, the days I have energy, I, more energy and get to do stuff. I'm on cloud nine. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Um, I have no idea why I just get wiped out completely or I'll get a burst. Maybe I'll have a day that starts really good and then I'll leave the house and do something like have a doctor's appointment or lately I've been trying to go on drives in the mountains with, with, with my boyfriend driving and it takes us literally weeks to find a day where I feel good enough to get in the car and go do that and then we do it and then I'm completely trashed and it's worth it to get out of the house but it is so exhausting and so it's almost it's like but is it <laughs> I feel so horrible afterwards there's been so much pain afterwards and sometimes crying when we get home from the pain and exhaustion so I haven't been making many videos because I don't have a story. Like, I wish I had this really great story that said I got sick, I got treatment, and I got better, but I don't have that story. And maybe eventually over time, I'm hoping that that will be my story, um, but just taking a long time. I've been sick for four years, and I'm as sick as I was when this started. I'm glad that I'm not worse. I'm glad that it, that the treatments and everything have stabilized things. I'm glad that many times treatments have worked better than other times. And I've had these phases where I felt better than this. I've had many phases where they didn't work as well and I felt a lot worse than this. Um, but I don't have a really pretty succinct little story. I have an ongoing battle that is still raging in my body and a battle with you know the medical system and the best science has to offer to try to cure this and put this autoimmune disease to bed um, for those who haven't watched before my disease is chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy CIDP it is a, the long-term version of Guillain-Barre and the body after, typically after a virus like SARS or Zika or Epstein-Barr will start attacking the myelin sheaths of the nerves and, um, or after certain vaccines. Um, but, uh, you know, they don't really know exactly why some people get this. It's very rare, very rare, and I was a healthy person, living my life, working really hard, really active, athletic, eat healthy. I've been eating healthy since I was a kid because my mom was so good with that, with us. I did everything you're supposed to do. I didn't smoke. Um, I didn't do any kind of like substances um, with the exception of alcohol and but not like you know excessively and here we are I've been in bed for the better part of four years and I'm really tired of it <laughs> what are you gonna do welcome to my life that 
I'm putting on YouTube because people don't see people like me because we can't get out. We don't have the energy. We can't be there for events. We can't be there to hang out. We can't go places. So we disappear from people's lives. And, um, you know, it's, it's a weird world to be in. And I'm trying to put this on, put videos out for family, friends, others on YouTube who might be in my situation to know you're not alone. There are a lot of us out here. Um, and I'm sure you hate this as much as I do. It's the worst thing. It's almost, I've heard numbers of others say this and I agree, I absolutely, I've said it myself. It's, it's debatable on whether death is not better than this. To watch your whole life just go by, to live, be alive, and watch you can't do anything and you lose your your job, your friends, your family, your all that you've worked for in your career for so long, your um your hobbies, your interests, all of it goes away and you just watch time go by. And the one thing that's better than death is that you didn't die and there's a chance you might get better. But living like this isn't a good way to live. It's not a it's not living really, it's just waiting for it to be over one way or another. Um, I still have a lot of hope that treatments that we've been doing have been helping. It's certainly been better this uh, last couple months than it's been in a long time. Like the last three months have been really great comparatively. Not like great, like feel like a healthy person, um, just lower pain and lower fatigue than it was, or uh, particularly having better communication with my nerves and being able to use my muscles more reliably. It still comes and goes, but it's just not as dramatic, so that's good. I'm hopeful that's going to lead to improvement. Anyway, that's my story, that's my update, and um, just going to keep hoping for this stuff to work, hope for good things. Hang in there.